Scientists have just detected a sudden glow from a gobbling black hole that should have occurred years earlier, and no one knows what's happening. When a star approaches a supermassive black hole at the center of a galaxy, it gets affected by it and creates a tidal disruption event, or a TDE. The star is pulled apart and torn to shreds by the black hole's tidal force, experiencing something known as spaghettification. The black hole's size is known as the Schwarzschild radius, or the radius at which nothing can escape. So when a star touches the Schwarzschild radius, matter from it will get sucked into the black hole. The infalling matter from the star will form an accretion disk around the black hole, which produces thermal emission that we can observe from Earth as a bright transient. During such events, black holes can glow brighter than a supernova that can last from weeks to a few months before fading. However, a new study reveals something way stranger and never seen before. In February 2021, Asaf Haresh, an astrophysicist at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, detected a radio emission that came six months after the initial TDE. Then, on June 30th, Yvette Sendez, an astronomer at the Harvard and Smithsonian Center for for astrophysics reported another detection of a delayed flare. Dr. Yvette and her colleagues used multiple observatories and reported a sudden spike in radioactivity that launched more than two years after the black hole's initial gobbling. As if that wasn't weird enough, Horesh's graduate student, Itai Sferati, probably caught the third example. He basically reanalyzed a previously spotted TDE and claimed that he found delayed radio emissions in combination with an X-ray flare. No one is sure what's causing these delayed outbursts, but this can be a perfect way for astronomers to study powerful outflows or jets that spew out from the poles of supermassive black holes and explain how they get powered by the infalling stellar material. These fast-moving jets spew relativistic particles that can traverse large distances through the galaxy and beyond and are very important in the evolution of galaxies. Usually, astronomers see such tandem emissions in X-ray binaries in which star-sized black holes suck gas away from binary stars. Scientists say something similar might be happening. However, it might be clearer for the researchers if wide-field radio surveys can observe other hungry events. A network of telescopes in New Mexico, known as the Very Large Array, is set to scan the skies for the third time next year and the Australian Square Kilometre Array Pathfinder will launch a full-sky survey by the end of this year. So, researchers expect to conduct follow-up radio surveys of TDEs using these observatories.